Take your CJ7 all the way to 11. Jeep with cool guys. Another day, another episode of taking apart something that I don't have any idea how it actually works. What I do know is that this is the clutch plate. This is the flywheel. There's a friction plate on the inside. You take off some bolts and it reveals something underneath. That's pretty much about all I know about this. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I am woefully uh, uneducated in all of this. But that's part of the fun because you just figure it out by taking things off. So let's get to it. Let's take off some clutch stuff. There are six bolts that go around the outside of the clutch plate. Um, they're half inch and they'll easily come out with a torque wrench. Uh, these have already been pre-loosened just so that I was able to get them off fairly easily. My one piece of advice on this is uh, release the ones that are around the bottom first and the outsides. Leave this top one here uh, because you're going to need something for it to hang on. Otherwise this thing will drop right off as soon as you take off that last bolt. And this thing's not very light. It's probably like 20, 25 pounds. So it's surprisingly heavy. So make sure you support it as you take out this last bolt. There's also the friction plate in the back here. Separate that out. And there you go. Now I need to get in here and take out these big bolts. Uh, these are three quarter inch. I'm going to do this in the same way. I'm going to take off the sides and leave the top one. Support this from the bottom. This looks like it's a very, very heavy plate. Hmm. Engine decided to take a leak. That's just the radiator fluid dripping out. Whenever I tip the thing forward. Oh, that's heavy. Wow, that's heavy. Okay, there's your clutch plate. Or your flywheel. That's how you take off your clutch flywheel and everything else that goes with it. Hopefully you can just easily pry this dust shield off. There's two little um, tubes that it fits over that hold it in place. And that is one oily, greasy mess. And you can see how the flywheel is actually connected into the um, main drive shaft right there. Well, ran a paint scraper off over it real nice and lightly. Um, and then uh, used some mineral spirits and cleaned up all the grease. The thing's actually uh, kind of a neat piece. It's just a sheet of aluminum. So I'm going to take a wire brush to this thing and uh, polish this thing up. And I think I'm going to leave it as is. It looks like the previous owner just straight spayed, sprayed. Yeah, I speak English good. It's just sprayed uh, black. I don't know if it was pour 15 all over this thing. But I'm going to try and get this back up to a nice shiny uh, setup. See how it looks. Well, not too bad. Um, actually, it's great. Uh, obviously, there's still some more detailing to do and uh, buffing out and cleaning everything up. And it's a dust plate, oil plate shield for your engine. Uh, that's all the way against the firewall. So it's not like you're ever going to see this. But it would be kind of fun to make it look really pretty. 